Well, it sort of is the sort of the, the, the film capital, County Wicklow of, of Ireland, because there's so much going on here. I mean, there's various productions uh, happening at the same time. I suppose like you have a couple of studios here, um, and then you've got all that stuff, you know, rivers, lakes, mountains, beaches, towns, uh, cute little villages like Wicklow Town, which is doubling as Carrageen. Um, I was previously involved in Vikings, so that was shot here as well. So we did a lot of location stuff around Wicklow. So, I mean, it, it doubled for Scandinavia, for Norway. So, I mean, they could create fjords and incredible landscape. It's sort of, it, it, there's an awful lot. Of, it's a small county, but there's a lot in it. It's called the Garden of Ireland, and it's a big county. So you've got the coast, which is beautiful beaches, beautiful, beautiful beaches. You've got towns like Wicklow Town, but then when you go further inland, you've got the most amazing uh, landscape. You've got, you know, what, what we call them mountains, but hills and uh, valleys. And it's quite underpopulated, like a lot of rural Ireland. So it's quite beautiful. I used to live up a hill in a cottage in a very, very rural, isolated part of Wicklow. And there's a walk you can do from Dublin to Wicklow called the Wicklow Way which is just, it, it would take you, I don't know, two, three days to get from it. And it's quite beautiful, you know, it's, it's a really beautiful landscape. But yeah, it's a very beautiful, beautiful uh, county, you know, quite unspoiled. So come visit. <laughs> oh God, I think it's everything a little town should be. Uh, because it's got a perfect villagey feel and uh, yet you're in deepest countryside before you know it uh, and uh, we some beautiful restaurants everybody's singing the praises of the little cafe around the corner with the amazing juices and falafel and then you've got the amazing fish restaurant that has that visiting seal that comes across the road it's incredible well some people refer to it as the garden of ireland and it's, it's got so many beautiful aspects it's both its coastline and more, more particularly its mountains. Go up into those mountains and you're in heaven. You could be anywhere uh, close to heaven, in, in fact. And there's lovely locks and glens and lovely little villages and towns and rivers and all sorts of things. Also wonderful people here. And they, they have a funny accent, of course, Wickla. I'm talking now with a slightly false Cork accent because, in fact, this, the series is set in Cork, although it's been shot in Wickla. <laughs> it's an old town, it has a lot of history and just visually it's gorgeous um, and the fact that we have the coastal landscape there as well, scenes which are, are kind of some of my favourite scenes are out running and just being out and overlooking that bay that you just, you can't get that. Most of the time it's done on green screen nowadays so being given the opportunity to come back to Ireland, shoot that and actually have it there in front of you has been uh, really special, you know. You know, in a sense, Wicklow needs no advertising, it needs no talking up. It is one of the most well-known places in Ireland because it is truly extraordinary. Um, there is a reason why a lot of filming is happening here nowadays. I've filmed here before with an American production because it has mountain and bog and sea and beautiful old houses and little villages and, um, you know, it's, 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 it's a mountain region. It's, it's like the wildest place that isn't the west of Ireland or the north of Ireland. Um, there's a reason why the rebels came from here. Whenever there was a, a, an Irish rebellion against English rule, they always found the soldiers around here. They, they just gathered together in the wild kind of Glenmalure hills and then marched on Dublin. It's a place where you can hide and um, you can feel that you're in the wildest part of Ireland because you are, and yet it's right beside Dublin. So I'd say yeah, I'd say come here for, for, to, to reconnect with the earth and the sea.